Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Redhead Goes Healthy and we are at day 68. So let's just get right into it. I don't have too much time, so let's see what today's quote is. I really like that. I really, really like that quote. Why <laughs> I probably wrote it down in my quote book. Uh, but what I like about it, I like that it reminds me not to ruminate over the past, which I can no longer control. The only thing that I can control is the present moment. And then the quote kind of indicates that by controlling the present moment, it has something to do with the future. So it's pretty vague, which I actually really appreciate. The future is still yet to come. So we don't know what's in the future. I don't know what's in the future. I know it's in the past, but it doesn't do me any good to focus on the past. If I'm thinking about negative choices that I've made, if I had a bad eating day, if I had a binge day, if I went and got McDonald's or fast food, I don't think it's helpful to think about the past. I don't think it's helpful to think about how um, like guilty you are for eating foods that were not on your plan. I think the best thing to do in those situations, for me at least, when they do happen, is to move on, move forward. I can say luckily, with within the last, uh, I guess it, we're on week 10 of my keto journey, I have not gone uh, to a fast food restaurant. I have not uh, gone off plan, which guys, I mean, I'm, <laughs> that's never happened in my life. I've never been this consistent for this long. And I, I think I'm just like so determined to reach the finish line. I'm so determined to reach day 84, which will be, you know, the 12 weeks that I'm not going to let anything get in my way. Now, there were moments like yesterday, I actually decided not to track anything because I wanted to test out being more intuitive about what I was eating. Because <laughs> the truth is, is I don't see myself tracking for the rest of my life. I don't see myself writing down every little piece of food that I eat. For some people, that is a healthy version of who they are. For me, it kind of enters into eating disorder territory because I'm so focused on all the foods that I can and cannot eat. Um, it's almost like calorie counting when you become so obsessed with every single calorie. I just don't want to become that and I have the tendency to become that. So relating it back to the quote, I don't want to think about yesterday as a mistake or uh, me not living up to my goals or anything like that. I still stuck to keto. I still made sure that I was eating the foods that I would normally eat. I didn't do anything that uh, was not on plan, but I didn't write anything down and that's in the past and if today I want to write stuff down then I will do that, but I'm not going to ruminate over the past. I'm gonna, not gonna let that influence my present decisions today. And uh, hopefully that helps my future, which is still to come. If any of that resonated with you, please comment below. Uh, for those of you who don't know, I am doing a final countdown of my 12 week keto journey. So I will see you guys tomorrow for day 69.